I'm going to hit record for a second because I want to talk about that really quick before we start. The fact that you worked out before meditating, I was going to touch on that anyways today. Um, so welcome to day four <laughs> of meditating with me uh, or learning to meditate. I want to talk about types of meditation today and I was going to touch on Shavasana in yoga pose and why it's so effective. And it's so effective because you have to move first and you work through all these different positions or asanas, they're called in yoga, and you you do the work first, right? And then you get to Shavasana and Shavasana is like, oh, now I can relax, now I can be present, now I can um, basically relax into my own body. So that's awesome that you worked out first. That's why um, when you work out, do you guys find that after you work out, you're uh, more creative? Like I'm much more likely to craft an awesome post. I know that's a funny thing to say, but I'm much more likely to craft like an epic, honest, from the heart, awesome post right after I work out uh, than I am pretty much at any other time of the day. So that's awesome, Carl's, and uh, excited for you that you are at the lake right now. And thank you for leaving that picture up because... I get to look at that now while we meditate. So I wanted to talk today about um, types of meditation because there are so many different um, methodologies by which you could go, right? It's kind of like that tall grass example I gave you guys on the first day. It's like you can choose any which way that you want to go um, to pursue this as a daily um, practice. So most people are familiar with guided meditations, like on an app. You guys are familiar? Yeah, so we're somebody like, it's kind of like what we've been doing for the first little bit of our meditation where I lead with my voice and then I shut up and then we go into silence. And that's where the real magic happens when you do the silent meditation and especially when you do a silent meditation with mantra. So the guided meditation, um, I personally use the app Insight Timer. Um, I can post a screenshot of like some of my favorites if you guys are interested to the group um, just so you can check those out yeah okay and uh i use inside timer at one point i tried headspace i know there's an app called calm it's supposed to be really good um there's a few so even like if you youtube like yoga nidra meditation lots of stuff will come up um, and yoga nidra is a sleep meditation if you guys are ever interested um it will knock you the f out <laughs> if you ever struggle with sleeping just um, look up on Insight Timer Yoga Nidra or even on YouTube Yoga Nidra Meditation for sleep. And I can almost guarantee that it'll put you out. So that's guided. And then um, we have visual. So visual meditation, you stare at one um, focal point or it's called in Sanskrit a drishti. So the focal point can be like a candle flame, um, a picture, I've got, I don't know if you can see behind me, but I've got incense going. And sometimes when I start, I'll just kind of watch the incense trail because it's really mesmerizing. So that's just like bringing in your awareness to single point awareness. So I'm just seeing single pointed and then I can go into it and I find I don't have as many thoughts and I can sink into um, the gap, right? Because that's the, the purpose and the, the wish for our meditation is to sink into that space. So that's a visual meditation. Even right now, Carly at the lake, that's a visual meditation. Having that, if you keep your eyes open, just watching the ducks and the geese and the sun and the grass flow and it's all. But sometimes when I go to sit by the pond, I'll just watch and it's very mesmerizing. Uh, walking meditation. You can absolutely do a walking meditation. And um, something that I would focus on while I was walking would be like attaching an intention to each breath. So it would be like, inhale energy, exhale doubt. Inhale energy, exhale doubt. Or I would just focus on right, left, right, left. And just focus on that single point of awareness, same thing. Um, after you do a moving meditation though, it is important to do, go into like some kind of a seated or laying down like a Shavasana type thing like we talked about at the start, um, just because you don't want your meditation to be um, you don't want your meditation to be all moving. The point of it, right, is to sit with whatever comes up 
and for a lot of people moving first can inspire the stuff to come up even easier so if you struggle with sitting with your own thoughts and stuff maybe just go for a couple of rounds around the block and then sit for five to ten minutes in silence and um, see what comes up for yourself uh, so tomorrow we're going to talk about um, a couple of different breath exercises but another uh, type of meditation is called pranayama which is just extended breathing that's all that is and so it's just focusing on either an um, extended inhale or an extended exhale or some kind of like you could do nostril breathing i'll show you guys tomorrow which looks really funky but is super awesome but yeah casey knows uh, and then there is mindfulness meditation which again is just focusing on one thing so there's different different kinds of mindfulness meditations um, you can do like like a loving kindness mindfulness meditation is a buddhist practice um, where you just send loving kindness to two or three different people and it's just the focus is there right so you guys can see a common theme the whole thing is find something to focus your attention on so that you're not having all these thoughts right and then finally mantra meditation which i personally think is best for daily use um, just because like i said yesterday uh, mantras don't hold any meaning right they are meaningless which just means that we can repeat them over and over again if we find ourselves drifting off into thoughts we can bring ourselves back to our practice by focusing on the mantra and some of the mantras that i've used personally if you um, are interested at all in, in figuring out okay like i hear this mantra what should i use for my mantras some of the mantras that i've used um, personally like quite often i went through a time where i was using let go that was my mantra for like days probably weeks with that one so i would inhale let exhale go let go because i struggle with control and i that is something that i need to learn and that was a really good reminder for me just to focus on let go um in out you just literally focus on in out in out the other day when we were doing our um meditation I mentioned uh, rise, fall, right? So same thing with in, out. I, you can just think of your belly rising, falling, rising, falling. Uh, so hum, the meditation we did on the second day. I really love so hum. It's very peaceful to me. Um, there must be a reason for that, right? Uh, om, I will just use om. It's, it's, it's wildly uh calming and if you're sitting by yourself if you can get yourself a little bit of a, a little bit of a vibration going and, and you're not too embarrassed to sit with yourself and like hear your own voice for a little bit just let yourself like oh. just like let that whole exhale out and then and do it again and just do that for a few breaths and see how that feels that vibration is really cool and it just I don't know it's the universal vibration it seems to help uh, and then finally I'll do like the four heart sutras like we did yesterday and I'll just focus on two of them so I'll do like peace harmony laughter love um, because I really do love those ones so I wanted to do a really quick example of a visual meditation because this is a really good one if you find yourself um, going into like panic mode or like overwhelm you know we talked about thoughts and overwhelm yesterday this is a really really quick awesome exercise to snap you back into oh, i'm good everybody's like yes can we have that <laughs> so just sit <clears throat> sit down anywhere everybody's sitting already just put your hands on your lap up or down either way you can also just put them at heart center if you want, if your hands are restless. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Another one. And out. All right, I want you to open your eyes for this. I want you to just look around your room just notice everything that's square. Just glance over it. Don't hover too long, just notice. 
Okay, now I want you to focus on everything that's circular. Focus on anything that has some kind of a circular shape. All right, now focus on everything that's small. Anything small. Now everything that's big. Focus on anything that's light. Anything that's dark. Anything that's moving. Everything that's still. And bring your attention back to me. Did you find that quite common? Gets you out of your own head and into your life. You could also do it where you take your shoes off and you feel your feet on the ground. That's a good one. Because for a lot of us, we live up here, right? I'm so guilty of this. I don't know if you guys know about um, like body-mind connection at all, but there's a book that I highly recommend. It's an awesome, awesome read, and it's called The Body-Mind Workbook by Debbie Shapiro. And it's actually really hard to come by a copy. So if you find an extra, pick one up for me. Um, but if you could find it at the library or a friend has it or something and in it she goes through it's kind of uh, along the lines of a Louise Hay you can heal your life book very very similar and Debbie Shapiro goes through this like insane explanation of every single body part like a scan of every body part and everything that could <clears throat> go wrong and the meaning behind all dis-ease and um, illness and injury and I was reading the page on concussion because I'm currently suffering a concussion. And I was like, okay, I got to know what the like metaphysical meaning behind this is. Like, obviously a concussion is an accident, but to me personally, my belief is nothing truly is random. But there's always like something behind. So I looked at the medita or the body mind explanation for concussion and it said something along the lines of, uh, needed a reality check, lives in their own head a lot, uh, wasn't focused on what's actually going around them, is an actual knock to the head to wake them up and get them in touch with their life. And I was like, oh, <laughs> that's pretty accurate. Shit. <laughs> so it's pretty crazy. Like, yeah, each side of your body uh, is a different. So like, I think your left side is your feminine your right side is your masculine i believe so it's like anything that's happening on this side is potentially an issue with uh masculine or feminine it's it's really crazy it's really really crazy so i highly recommend looking into that so those are some types of meditation uh that's an example of a visual meditation that you can use if you ever find yourself like feeling some social anxiety maybe or um stressed out and overwhelmed with your own stuff, you can use that one. Um, and like the day that I shared, where we talked about thoughts, I think that was yesterday, or now I'm forgetting. No, that was day two, we talked about um, thoughts. You can use a mantra meditation if you find yourself overwhelmed, like so hum or, or um, let go or in out or something like that. So let's do a meditation together. Okay. All right. Get comfy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to guide you through um, a relaxation meditation. And then I will set my timer like I've done every day. And we will do 10 minutes of silence. 
I'll see, it might be eight and it might be 10, but just trust that I'll guide you out of that, okay? All right. Get comfortable wherever you are. Relax. Close your eyes. You can gently rest your tongue against the tip of your teeth. Shoulders back. Belly soft. Deep inhale through your nose. Fill your belly. Exhale through your mouth. Release. Again through your nose. And release. Through your nose. Any still energy, release. Do a couple more breaths just like that. Let yourself relax into it. Don't necessarily do anything different. Just allow your awareness to drift to your breathing. Just focus on the in and the out. As you listen to my voice, feel the air flow in and out. Feel your lungs stretch and relax. Feel your chest rise and fall. Just feel your belly fill as you inhale. And soften as you exhale. Don't do anything to change your breath. Just in through your nose, out through your nose. Just be aware. Be aware of the breath. Simply bring it in. Hold it for about a minute. And then exhale. And hold that for a moment before inhaling again. All right, now become aware of your physical body. How does it feel right now? Are you hot, cold? Are you feeling relaxed, or tense? Are there parts of your body that hurt? Are there other parts of your body you don't even feel right now? Just notice that as your awareness drifts over different parts of your body, you become more aware of every part making up the whole. All right. Let's start at our feet. Focus on your heels, the soles of your feet, the tops of your feet, your ankles. Wiggle your toes if you want. Inhale, open. Exhale, soften. Move your awareness up to your calves and your shins and your knees. Inhale, open. Exhale, soft.
Move your awareness to your thighs, to your seat, to your pelvis. Inhale, open. Exhale, soften. Focus on your left hip, your right hip, lower back, low belly. Inhale, open. Exhale, soften. Move your attention to your belly button, to your rib cage, to your spine. Inhale, open. Exhale, soft. Think about your stomach intestines and your organs, your heart, your chest. Inhale, open. Exhale, soften. Focus on your left arm all the way down. Inhale, open. Exhale, soften. Focus on your left hand, your palm, your fingers, the back of your hand. Inhale, open. Exhale, soft. And as you bring your breath across the center of your body, breathe a little deeper into your heart center. Notice how you can choose to breathe a little deeper than you did a second ago. Make your way to your right arm. The shoulder all the way down. Inhale, open. Exhale, soften. Focus on your palm, your fingers, the back of your right hand. Inhale, open. Exhale, soften. And bring that breath across your chest again to your heart center. Just feel the power there for a moment. Be more open, more full. Breathe a little deeper than you did a second ago. Once you're fully aware of your heart, take a deep breath in to that area. Open. Soften. Let's do another one. Open. Soften. Breathe one more time deeply into your heart center. Pull all your energy into that area right now. Just fill your heart with so much love, with gratitude, with compassion, with forgiveness with joy, 
notice as you do this. Feel free to smile a little bit. Move your breath up now through your chest to your throat, to the base of your spine, the back of your head. Inhale, open. Exhale, soften. Bring your awareness up to your face. All the little muscles in your face, your mouth, your nose, your eyes, your ears, your forehead. Inhale, open. Exhale, soften. And finally, the top of your head, your cranium. Inhale, open. Exhale, soften. And as you sit with this for a moment, I want you to just picture your whole body as being open to receive. Nothing is closed off. Everything is trusting. Imagine the top of your head opening slightly and all the love you've ever given comes flooding back inside you. Just let it wash around. Let it flow like white light all the way down to your toes. Back up all the way through your core back to your head and soften. That love is always available to you. Every day of your life. Keep your eyes closed and we're just gonna go into five minutes of silence And I'll chime the bell when it's time to come out of it. So settle into your seat. Relax a little deeper than you were. And let's just sit together.
Bring yourself out of it in your own time. How was that? Okay. You have less than a minute, but if anybody wants to just pop on super quick and share, you're more than welcome to. I have to say after working out before meditation, I was a lot more calm and in my own body as opposed to in my mind and thinking about all the things that I have to do today. So, so it was good then. Good. Nice, Carly, you got the Shavasana. That's awesome. Okay, tomorrow we're gonna talk about different types of breath and also chakras. Yay. I love you guys and I hope you have a fabulous um, whatever day it is, because I don't know. <laughs> Friday, it's Friday. Oh my gosh, I really don't know. Okay, I love you guys. I hope you have a great day. <laughs> Bye.